Solar Eagle crew from Cal State LA, recognized for its disciplined interaction and precision teamwork, is up before dawn every morning preparing for the day, ready to catch the early rays, planning the day's strategy, and maybe catching somebody else napping. Some mornings, the engineers aren't the only ones up at dawn. They meet another alternative energy source, an old standby at Churchill Downs, where the race paused overnight. On day eight, the Sun Race vehicles spend the night at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. The Solar Eagle coming in fourth for the day, now in fifth position overall. The Solar Eagle is still performing flawlessly, but barring some accident that would slow the current leaders, the dream of first place has washed away with the rain. The big black and yellow car from Michigan, the Sun Runner, seems unbeatable. After a ceremonial turn around the famous speedway under clear skies, the ninth day of racing begins. And despite the doubting Thomases, all 32 cars are still running. Some we haven't seen for a while, far back in the pack now. At the end of day 10, in fourth place, 13 minutes behind Maryland, with only a short racing day ahead on the final run, the Solar Eagle team swallows its disappointment. It will be almost impossible to make up that much time. But nothing keeps these enthusiastic young men and women down for long. Next morning, the flag of competition is flying again as the teams prepare for the last stretch of an historic race. Unable to close up the gap, the Solar Eagle finishes fourth, behind Michigan, Western Washington, and Maryland. However, for a team that some thought could never do it, a sense of pride and accomplishment quickly overcomes any temporary frustration. The Solar Eagle, designed, built, and raced by Cal State LA's engineering and technology students, beat all other California teams and ranked fourth in a field of 32. No matter the outcome, they know they've participated in a unique event that may help lead the world toward a new way of thinking about fuel consumption, alternative energy sources, and a cleaner environment for all life on Earth. And back home in California, a proud university welcomes its Solar Eagle team with accolades, cheers, speeches, but best of all, a promise of support to send the car to the prestigious 1990 World Solar Challenge in Australia three months later. The Australia race will be a much different challenge and a long, hot, arduous test of the ingenuity of the Solar Eagle team and the stamina of their car. The race will begin on the tropical north coast at Darwin and proceed over 1,800 miles through Australia's desolate outback to the south coast city of Adelaide. The school teams from the U.S. and Australia, including some Australian high schools, will be competing against million-dollar vehicles like the Honda and the Hoxon, which are among the 11 Japanese entries, and the Spirit of Beale from Switzerland. Once the race begins, the field of 36 solar vehicles will spread out, each team with an official observer proceeding on its own, 
independent and self-sufficient over a vast, barely populated land. After the first few hours, many teams will never see each other again. One of the pre-race tests in Darwin pitted the solar cars against the giants of the Australian highways, the mighty road trains, to be sure the cars would not be flipped by the tremendous wind force of the trucks. True to its record, the Solar Eagle performed flawlessly in its tests. That, by the way, is a solar-powered scooter. And this is a solar-powered steam car. It gathers its energy from the sun through a parabolic mirror. There are, among these innovative competitors, some old acquaintances, of course. Crowder College, for instance, the winner of Sun Race USA, Sunrunner from the University of Michigan, Western Washington University, and an old rival with a new entry, Solar Flare 2, from Cal Poly Pomona. As the minutes tick away, the challengers check their cars again and again, making final adjustments and calculations, finishing their exams in an atmosphere of growing tension. As the team soon discovers, conditions are more primitive here in Australia. The team stops wherever it happens to be at the official end of the racing day, makes camp, unwinds, and puts the car to rest for the night after the solar cells catch a few last rays to store up for tomorrow's run. Next morning at first light, Anticipating the vital, energy-giving sun, the team gears up for another day of racing. There are always details to check. The care with which the team treats the Solar Eagle will have everything to do with its high performance. Although down south in the city of Adelaide, on day six, the Swiss car, the Spirit of Beale, has already won the overall World Solar Challenge, a fiercer race within a race has developed between the two rival California cars the Solar Eagle and Cal Poly's Solar Flare 2. Who will claim the title first in California? Both cars are still in the top third among the contenders and only minutes apart in total lapse time. Cal State Los Angeles beats Cal Poly Pomona by eight minutes, both crossing the finish line on day eight, ranking 10th and 11th in the World Challenge competition. Team Solar Eagle, still first.